Start. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the science um, online class, where we'll continue from where we stopped last time. I hope you're all keeping safe from the pandemic. Um, and I wish that you're able to adjust well to the new learning session. Now, in the comment section, don't forget to write your name, your room, and your class number. I've seen most of you have already done that. And also, make sure you have a pen and a paper, because we'll be using that one for some activity and some writing that will come after, <laughs> after the lesson. Now, we are going to spend about 10 minutes to review what we learned last time. It's a review quiz. Uh, I want you to make sure that you have your pen and a paper, uh, but there will be no homework. For sure, there will be no homework after this. Now, this is called the top five quiz. Top five quiz. In this top five quiz, all you need to do is each question has many possible answers. So I just want you to write only one answer. I know it's a game maybe you have played before. Um, there are many answers for each and every question, but I just need you to write one, just one answer. It's a review quiz. Now, question number one. Name one SI unit used with topic electricity. Name one SI unit used with the topic electricity. Now, you can write your answer in the comment section. One unit that is used in, with electricity. Um, okay. Now let me explain one more time. Remember this, that the answer that you give will determine the points that you, you get. For example, if your answer is an easy answer, you'll get about 10 points. If it's, uh, sorry, if it's a complex answer, it's 10 points. If it's an easy answer, you get about seven points. If it's a very easy answer, you get about five points. Now, for example, let me give you one. one name one SI unit used with the topic electricity. One is Ampere. Ampere is an easy one. Another one? Ampere. Uh, your answers, please. A to A voltage. Oh, voltage. A pair. What? Oh, your answers are coming in quick and fast. What? Chaya Park says column, correct. Um, we rather says three room three number 52. What? Again, this is just a review for what from what you learned last period. So, ampere, two points. Volt, three points. Ohm, five points. Watts and kilowatt, or kilowatt, which we are going to study today. It's about seven points, and again, column, about 10 points. So the easiest one here, I guess, is ampere and volt. Eh? So don't take it so seriously if you cannot answer. Just take your time. Question number two, quiz number two. Ready, steady, go. Name one part of a circuit. Name one part of a circuit. And the answers begin. Now. Three room eight, number four says battery. Correct. Chaya part, three room eight, number 10, battery. Correct. Three room one, number 43, appliance. Perfect, correct. Chayot, number eight, wire. Three room eight, number four, resistor. Can you check the spelling again, please? Resistor. Power seat, three room three, number 16. Uh, no answer. Okay, number 52, three room three, switch. Three room eight, number four, motor. Correct, all your answers are correct. Now check your answers here again. Number five, switch, two points. That's an easy one. Then connecting wire, I can see some connecting wires here. Correct, that is three points. Sale, no one. 
Okay, but not about cell. Only motor switch, electric appliance. Okay, another one, battery, correct, seven points, and one appliance. Now, if you wrote something like motor, motor is an appliance. If you wrote something like uh, bulb, that is an appliance. Capacitor is an appliance. So all your answers are correct. Review question number three. Name one electrical measuring instrument. Name one electrical measuring instrument. Three room eight, number four, ammeter, correct? Three room one, number 43, voltmeter, correct? Uh, three room eight, number eight, voltmeter, that's also correct. Number 11, three room three, ammeter, okay? Three room eight, number eight, galvanometer. Now, chayut and chayapat, oh, different students, okay? Galvanometer, galvanometer, room eight. Okay, number 31, three room one. No answer. Three room eight, number four, ohmmeter, correct. All your answers are correct, let's check. Okay, voltmeter, yes, measures the volts. Uh, that's the symbol. The ammeter is uh, three points. That is a symbol for the ammeter. The ohmmeter, that's a symbol. The galvanometer, that is a symbol. And uh, two symbols, actually. We can, it's only one that looks like letter G with a circle, and the one with a pointed arrow. And the last one we have is what we call the watt meter. I think this one we did not have enough time to go through in the class, is that? With uh, letter W, letter W. Question number four, question number four. Name a scientist that studied electricity. Name one scientist that, learned, that did some work or did some experiments on electricity and the questions and answers should begin coming now. James Watt, Chayapat, three room eight, number 10. Correct, James Watt was one of them. Number 11, three room three, Michael Faraday, correct. Three room one, number 43, Michael Faraday, correct. Oh no, Tanawat Pogba. Pogba is a footballer, he's not a, that's a funny one. Uh, he's a scientist, eh? Three room eight, James Watt, correct. Wirada, three room three, number 52, Alexander Volta, Italian, correct. James Watt, correct. Bestie, Galileo, correct. Uh -huh. Three room two, number 31, George Simon Ohm, correct. Chaya Pax, three room eight, number one, Nikola Tesla, that's also correct. Um, Charles Augustine De Colo, three room eight, number four, correct. Um, Ohm, three number, Three slash eight number four, this is George Simon Ohm. That's all correct. Now, check your answers again. George Simon Ohm, this we, we learned last week. George Simon Ohm, two points. And then Michael Faraday, he did some work on electromagnetic induction, three points. And then Alessandro Volta, he did some experiments on the battery, five points. He was Italian. Andre Marie up there, Kara. This one we, we learned this one last week. About seven points. And uh, Charles de Colomb, we did some work on the charge, about 10 points. So uh, 10 points for Colomb, seven four points for Ampere, Alessandro Volta for about five points again, and Michael Faraday three. George Simon on the easiest one, which is two points. Good job. Next one, question number five. Name one electrical conductor. This is one of the easiest questions. Name one electrical conductor. And the answers should be straight coming from now. Chayat again, three room eight, number 10. Correct. 
Silver. Gold. Three room eight. Number 18, gold, correct. Copper. Three room one, number 43, correct. Silver. Silver. Number four, three room eight, iron, correct. Oh, sea water. This is three room eight, number nine, sea water. That's also correct. Aha. Uh -huh. Chitsan Pong. Three room two, number 31, water, yeah. Sea water is actually uh, a conductor. Now, metal. What type of metal? Number 27, three room eight. What type of metal? Can you be specific? Uh, number four, room eight, mercury, correct. Um, aluminium, number 12, three room eight. Also, that one is correct. Okay, check your answers again. Number five, you have mercury. Anyone who stated mercury? Yes, yeah. some few of them. Aluminium, or what the American call aluminum. Those are conductor. We use it with cables. Yeah. Copper, um, the most common. Uh, very low resistance. Gold, too expensive. And silver also. It's a very good resistor, but again, too expensive. Yeah? Next question, we'll go to question number six. Question number six. Name one electronic part. Name one electronic part. And the answers should be coming now. Dial, that is number 10. Tell your part, that was so quick. Transistor, correct. Number 27, three room eight. Capacitor, number eight, three room eight, correct. Number 32, resistance. Resistor is the correct uh, spelling. Uh, capacitor. That's correct. Capacitor, transistor, diode, wire. Wire, is it an electrical component? No. Is that, that's part of a, a circuit. Diode, LED, ah, okay. Silicon chip, circuit boards, capacitor, diodes. All your answers are actually correct, sir. Huh? Check them. Number five, resistor, the easy one. It can be a variable resistor or just a fixed resistor. Then we also have an inductor. Uh, this actually, this topic, we are going to study it next week again. Then capacitor is about five points. Diode is about seven points. And transistor is about 10 points. The next question we have is question number seven. Question number seven. Name one use of electromagnetic induction. Name one use of electromagnetic induction. Now, this one I think was the last poster we did before we went for, for the break. Huh? Electric train, that's correct. Key card, three room eight, correct. Three room one, number 43, electromagnetic stove. Perfect, correct. Uglev train, that's correct. Generate electricity, ah, generator, okay. Headphone, uh, credit or debit card, perfect, that's correct. Credit card, CT scan, perfect. ATM card, still credit card or debit card, perfect. Buzzer. Interesting answers. Magnetic door, good. Another one. One more. One more. Any students from room seven here? I see so many room eight, some few from room three. Three room two, number 31, electromagnetic charger. Perfect. Check your answers. Generators, transformer or a dynamo. Some of them, I can see your answers there. Um, number two, three root six, can you check your spelling? It's M-E-G, it's M-A-G, magnetic, check your spelling. Credit or debit card, those who say ATM card, that's also correct, huh? If your answer was ATM card, that's perfect. Magnetic door and induction cooker, I saw someone say electric stove, that's correct. And wireless charging, that's also perfect. 
know, so the last one here is the magnetic brakes in an electric train. Those who say maglev train, that's perfect, correct? And also those who say electric train, that's also correct. BTS, uh, someone said BTS? Okay, maybe not. Question number eight. Question number eight. Name one quantity or an item that can be measured in electricity. Name one item or quantity that can be measured in electricity. You can think of what we learned in, your, in our last period to give you some idea of the answers to give. And the answers should be coming for now. Galvanometer. Um, what does a galvanometer measure? What does a galvanometer measure? Voltmeter room eight number one is an instrument. Quantity. Okay, correct. Current. This is uh, number eight, three room eight current. That is correct. Voltage number 10, correct. Three room eight. Uh, three room eight number one, ohm. What is ohm? Ohm is resistance, correct. Uh, ampere, three room eight number 18. Perfect. That is also correct. Something else? I can see voltage, current, ohm, resistance. Two more. Ohmeter measures resistance. What? Correct. We are going to look at what today? Um, electrical power and energy. Another one. Charge. Ah, you can measure charge. Electrical power. All your answers again are correct. Let's Go through them again. Potential difference. This one is the voltage, a resistance, the current, the electrical power, and the electrical energy. Now, the potential difference here is this is the voltage. I can see some of you, you wrote it. Resistance is the ohm, the current is the ampere, the electrical power is the watt, and the electrical energy is in the kilowatt power. Now, these two, number one and number two, is what we are going to, to study today. Question number nine. Question number nine. Name one insulator. Name one insulator. Number four, wood, correct. Number 18, three roommate wood, that's also correct. Rubber, that's correct. Clothes. Plastic, perfect. Plastic, check your spelling. Plastic number 18. Um, it's not PL, it's P something. Check your spelling. Paper, paper, mud. Not all, some mud is actually. Uh, glass, correct, leather. Glass, diamond, clothes, glass. I mean, almost the same answers. Eh? So, plastic, yeah, I can see plastic there. I can see wood in your answer, correct? I can see glass in your answers, perfect. Diamond, I think one or two of you wrote diamond. And uh, rubber, rubber is also uh, an insulator. The last review question, which is question number 10. Question number 10, which is the last review question, is the following. This one is also not so hard. List one electrical formula. Some of them we have nothing. Some of them I think you have learned in time. Um, beginning. Now, okay, I can see some of you are so quick. Three room eight, number 10, V equals to I R, correct? Uh, then P equals to IV power, that's correct. P equals to IV, perfect. V equals to IR, correct. R equals to IV, R equals to IV, some more. I need some more answers. These are quite easy. Quite easy. The easiest one actually is number five. Though. This one, v equals to IR. So if you write V equals to IR as your answer, remember you cannot write I equals to V over R or R equals to V over I. There are more formulas that we use in this topic electricity. P equals to IV, correct? I equals to V over R. 
another one. P equals to I equals to P over V, power over voltage. That's correct also. What else? R equals to I over V. Hmm. Let me give you an idea. When you want to find the when you want to find the the resistors in the total resistance in a circuit, whether it's parallel or whether it is uh, in series, what formula do you use? Resistors in parallel and also resistors in uh, in a series circuit. What formula do you use? Because I can see all your answers are like the same. P equals to W over T, correct. Power equals to what done over time, correct. Ah, correct. This is number 10, three roommate number 10. One over R equals to one over R1 plus one over R2, ATC, ATC, perfect. Ah, R series, R1 plus R2 plus R3. All your answers actually are correct, correct. RT equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3, the total resistance in a series circuit. Then another one is in a parallel circuit, one over RT equals to one over R1 plus one over R2 in a parallel circuit. Then another one here we have is uh, power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. This we are going to look at today. And the last one also is current is equal to charge divided by T, charge divided by T. This, we learned this last week. And also I think uh, number three and number four, we did it in the last period. Um, exercises. Number five, number four, number three, okay, and number one last video. But today I want us to concentrate on number two, power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Well done for all your uh, work. Yeah, this is the end of the review question. Perfect. Now I want us now to look at the topic for today. The topic for today is electromagnetism, which is uh, what we learned last period. What we learned last period is a continuation of what we learned last week. Now, the keywords are as follows: eh? electrical power, as keyword number one, electrical power. Two, we are also going to look at what. Uh, three, kilowatt, and number four, kilowatt hour. Now, some of them have to do with the energy and also the others have to do with um, electrical power. Now, those who were absent last period, those who were absent last period, uh, make sure that you go through uh, the video that we that was uploaded. Check on on floor because you are going to use it with today's lesson, where V is equal to current multiplied by resistance. And we said the following, that the symbol for Current, we say this I and the unit is the ampere. We also stated that resistance, the unit is the ohm and the symbol is R. And the last one, we say that the potential difference, the symbol is V and the unit is the voltage, is the voltage. Now, so question is, then what is electrical power? Now, every time you buy an electrical um, gadget or an instrument, you always find this sticker, a sticker like this. For example, this is a freezer. Uh, it's rated at a current of 2.4 amperes uh, with a defrosting input of about 205 watts. Huh? We're going to look at what do these units stand for and what do they mean. Another one is a, like an example of an LCD TV. It's written here. The rating is about 220 to 240 volts. The power consumption is about 96 watts. So, what do these stickers entail? What do they mean? Now, electric appliances always have these labels to show two things. One, the voltage that they need, and two, the electrical power they consume, or the electrical power that they, they use. Now, electrical power is the rate at which the electrical energy is used up in a, in a circuit, of how fast the the energy is being used up. The rate is like how quick, how fast this, the energy is being used up. Huh? And then it shows, again, the rate at which work done is being, is happening in the, in the circuit. Right? Now, the unit for electrical power is what is called 
your wax. Um, now, there's a formula to calculate electrical power. Now, electrical power is equals to current multiplied by voltage. Uh, the unit for current here is, sorry, not the unit, the symbol we use is I, and the unit for, the symbol for voltage is V. So the SI unit, as we have just said, is what is called the watt. Now, there is a steam engine. Uh, you can see us an animation of a steam engine. Now, this one, uh, the guy who came up with this invention, was named, his name was James Watt. Huh? And that's where we get this unit here, watt, uh, from the name James Watt, the scientist. We also have a bigger unit, which we call a kilowatt. Now, using the prefix kilo, 1,000 watt is equal to one kilowatt. So kilo is a prefix, denoting 10 to the power of three. Let's take for example, we'll do some quick calculations. I hope we have enough time for that, yes. An appliance is marked 240 volts, 40 watts. What is the current flowing through the time? So again, like what we learned last period, uh, write what you know, find what you don't know. So in this case here, we know the voltage which is 240. The power is 40, but we don't know the current. We don't know the current. But you know that the formula for power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. So when you substitute that, current is there for power divided by voltage, which is equal to 40 watts divided by 240. And when you divide that, you get 0 0.1666 or 0 0.167 huh? when you round it up. Huh? So always begin with what you know, then always finish with what you don't know. That's example number one. Example number two, what is the power in kilowatt? What is the power in kilowatt? of an appliance that is marked 240 volts, 500 hertz. 240 volts, 500 hertz. Again, we list what we know. We know, again, the voltage is 240. Current is 5 amperes. What we don't know is the power. Substitute the formula. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage, which is equal to 5 amperes multiplied by 240. When you divide that or you multiply that, you get 1,200 watts. But now, look at the question. The question is, what is the power in kilowatt? Not in watts, in kilowatt. Going back to the previous slide, remember we said 1,000 watt is equal to 1 kilowatt. So you substitute that, 1,200 watt is equal to what? So it's equal to 1,200 divided by 1,000. When you subdivide that, you get 1.2 kilowatts, 1.2 kilowatts. Okay, the last example, the last example number three, uh, this one is a tricky question. Calculate the current flowing through and resistance of a lamp rated at two things, 240 volts, 60 watts, 240 volts, 60 watts. Again, you list what you know, you find what you don't know. Remember, we want two answers. We want the current and also we want the resistance. Current and also the resistance. Solution here, again, the current here we have two values. We know the voltage which is 240, the power is six. Anytime you see the watts, always remember that this watts simply means the power. The current, we don't know what it is. You find the current, but we know the formula, power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Substitute that, you get power divided by voltage, you get the current, which is equal to 60 watts divided by 240. When you divide that, you get 0 0.25 amperes, 0 0.25 amperes. Now, this is the current. Going back to what we learned last period, uh, Ohm's law, we say that Ohm's law resistance, we say that V equals to IR. This what now what you know, we have the voltage, which is 240. 
the current, which is 0 0.25, but we don't know the resistance. Now, we have already found the current, which is stated there 0 0.25. What we don't know is the resistance. Again, we know from Ohm's law, V is equal to I multiplied by R, current multiplied by resistance. So voltage divided by current is equal to the resistance. So resistance is equal to, again, 240 divided by 0 0.25. And when you divide that answer, your answer is 960, 960 ohm. Okay, now the last slide before we do a short quiz again is what you call the electrical energy, electrical energy. Now, I think you've seen these ones in your houses. You've seen these gadgets in your houses. Huh? They calculate how much energy you're using in your compound or in your home which you used to pay um, the government uh, for how much units you used up during a particular period of time. Now, electrical energy is measured in kilowatt hour, or what we call KWH using these units, KWH, or kilowatt hour. Hour stands for the time. So energy in kilowatt per hour is, is power kilowatt multiplied by the time. Right? The power in kilowatt, the time always, remember, the time should always be in hours. If you get a question with minutes, convert the minutes into, into hours. So we use this one. One kilowatt hour is equivalent or is equal to one kilowatt multiplied by one hour. One kilowatt, kilowatt multiplied by one hour is equal to one kilowatt hour. Next, let's look at one example. A one kilowatt cooker takes 30 minutes to cook some food. How much electricity is used up in cooking the rice? How much electricity is used up in cooking the rice? Solution, we know that the time we have here is 30 minutes. Now, when you convert 30 minutes into hours, is equal to one half of an hour, which is 0 0.5 of an hour. Then we also stated that energy used is in kilowatt hour is equal to the power in kilowatt multiplied by the time taken, which is equal to one kilowatt multiplied by 0 0.5. The answer you get is 0 0.5 kilowatt hour. Don't forget the unit. 0 0.5 kilowatt hour. Now the second question is this. Calculate the total cost if the cost of electricity, if the cost of electricity is four bucks per unit, like one unit here is equal to four bucks. In our example, when you use the cooking rice here, when you cook the rice, you found that you had 0 0.5 uh, units. So the total cost of electricity is the energy used multiplied by the cost per unit. Eh? The energy used in kilowatt per hour is what? 0 0.5 multiplied by 4 watt. When you get that, is, the total is equal to 2, two watts. I want you to get uh, your notebook or a piece of paper. I thought the homework is just a quiz that I want us to do. We are going to get the answers there. I'll only give you like a minute, one or two minutes, and then after you give your answer, uh, we'll check it together in the next maybe 15 minutes, the next 15 minutes. So always remember to give details about your name, your room, and your class number. Again. For example, if your answer is four kilowatts, write your answer, your name, and your room, and also your number. Again, we'll have a clock here to give you uh, an idea of how much time remains. Yeah? Okay, question number one. Question number one is a very easy question. If a part of electric circuit dissipates energy at six watts when it draws a current of three amperes, what voltage is impressed across it? And the timer begins now. One minute, one minute. The answers are coming in quick and fast. Two volts, um, that is 
306, number 35. Eight amperes, that is uh, three room eight. Okay, 35A, eh? number 23, 23 amperes, 2 amperes, this is number 3 room 2, 2 amperes. Don't forget to write your number also, answer and number, answer and number. Found some few answers here, 3 room 6, number 35, 2 volts, oh, correct. Three room six, correct. Okay. Three room two, number two. Three room two. Two amperes, correct. Now here we go. A. So oh, you're right. You're saying A. Okay. A. A. Let's check. Okay. A. Sorry. The correct answer actually it's it's two. I guess there's a problem with the string. Anyway. The correct answer is two. Let me show you how. A solution is as follows. The power is six watts. The current is three amperes, but you don't know the voltage. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. So the power divided by the current is equal to the voltage. When you substitute that six watts divided by three, the answer is equal to two volts. Two volts, okay. Ah, A, you're writing your answers A. If it's possible, just write your answer as is. is it two volts, is it uh, six volts, instead of writing A or B or C. Question number two, we have about 15 minutes again. Question number two, a lamp is rated 240 volts, 100 watt. Calculate the current flowing through eight, and the timer begins now. One minute. That's also an easy question. Three room eight, number four. Your answer is C, 4.17A. Three room eight, number 331. Your answer is B, 2.47. Three room two, number 53, C, 4.17A. Amperes. Three root seven, number seven. Your answer is A, 0 0.417 amperes. Three room eight, number 23. Your answer is A, 0 0.41710 seconds. Three room seven, number 23, C, 4.17. Three room eight, number four, A, 0 0.417 amperes. Okay, your time is up. Let's check. Again, I think I have a feeling there's a problem again in the screen. But don't you worry, let's check. I don't know what happened. Okay, the correct answer again here is this. A lamp is rated 240 volts, 100 watts. Calculate the current flowing through it, the solution. The voltage is 240, the power is 100, but you don't know the current. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Voltage, therefore, a current is therefore power divided by voltage. 100 watts divided by 240, you get 0 0.417 amperes. 0.417 amperes. Question number three. Question number three. Now, for question number three, Question number seven, I'll give you two minutes for each particular question. Then this figure here, uh, calculate the current and also the power in the circuit diagram shown. Calculate the current and the power in the circuit diagram shown. And the timer begins now. Two minutes. Three room eight, number 10, B. Three room three, number two, B. We all got the same answer. Three room seven, number seven, A, B. Which is which? Is it A or is it B? You've given two answers. Be specific. 
um, three root eight number four B. Three root eight number one B. Okay. I still have uh, another maybe about one minute and five seconds. Three room eight number twenty three B correct. Three room seven number fifteen B six amperes one hundred and eight watts. Three room eight number twenty three B correct. Hey Lucifer, your name is Lucifer. Three room five number twenty three B Lucifer, and then Sui what? Number two, three room. Why did you call yourself Lucifer? Three room five, number 23. Uh, Kanta, three room two, number 47. I think all your answers are correct. The correct answer should actually be yeah, six amperes, 108 watts. Um, D says 108 amperes, six watts. C, 30 amperes, 600, 600 watts. A, 20 amperes, 40. Let's have a look at these answers. The time is time is up. Okay, I guess we have a problem in the screen. Anyway, calculate the current and the point of circuit diagram. So the voltage is 18, the resistance is 3, the current we don't know. So V is equals to I R on slope. Uh, I equals to V divided by R. When you substitute that, you get 18 volts divided by 3. The answer you get is 6 R is correct. And the next one we have, uh, so power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. And so when you substitute this 6 amperes multiplied by 18 volts, it is 108 watts. 108 watts. The correct answer again was B as you stated. Question number four. Question number four. What is the resistance offered by an appliance rated 240 volts, 100 watts? Timer begins now. Two minutes. Two minutes. Question four, three room eight, number 10, B, 576. Three room one, number 30. That's correct. Um, three room six, number 35, B, correct. Another three room seven, number seven, B, correct. Tana what? Three room seven, number 40, B, correct. Three room two, 50. 50, do we have 50 here? We don't have 50. Check your answer. Three room two. Oh yeah, yeah. Three room two, 50, B. Correct, correct, you're right, you're right. Three room four, number 16, B. Correct. Kantas Sahasat, three room two, number 47, B. Correct. I think all your answers are correct. All your answers are correct. Perfectly correct. You have about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, the correct answer. Here we go. Okay, what is the resistance offered by an appliance rated 240 volts, 100 watts? Eh? Solution again, voltage is 240, power is 100, we don't know the current. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage, so power is divided by voltage is equal to current. 100 watts divided by 240, the yes, answer I get 0 0.417 amperes. Now, you know the voltage, the current is 0 0.47, but we don't know the resistance. Substitute that for Ohm's law last week, V equals to IR. So V divided by I is equal to the resistance. When you substitute that, 240 divided by 0 0.417, the answer is 576 Ohm. 576 Ohm. 
Question five. Question five. About 10 minutes remaining. A heater produces 1.2 kilowatts per hour when a 240 volt supply is connected. What is the resistance of the heater? What is the resistance of the heater? The timer begins now. Now, part three, room one, number 39A. This is five amperes. What is the resistance? Not the current. What is the resistance? Check the unit. Check the unit. One more time. Check your units. Huh? Not the current. Uh, those who are saying A, check your current. It's not, we don't want the current, we want the resistance. Here room two, number two says B, 48 ohms. Okay. Uh, this one should be a tricky one. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put on the timer. Sorry for that. Um, three room one, number 37B, uh, five ohms. Three room seven, number 15B, 48 ohms, about 30 seconds or so. Um, who else? Three room two, number two, B, 48 ohms. Um, Vietnam, three room eight, number 34, A, five amperes. We don't want, the question is what is the resistance, not what is the current, check the unit. So it's not A and it's not C because of the units. It should either be B or D, either B or D. 10 seconds remaining. Three room three number eleven B. Three room one number thirty nine B. Three room eight number twenty three B. And I think the time is up. Okay, let's check solution here. A heater produces one point two kilowatts per hour when a two forty volt supply is connected. What is the resistance of the heater? The power is one point two kilowatt. The voltage is two forty. We don't know the current. We substitute that. First of all, remember. 1.2 kilowatt, we have to convert that into watt by multiplying by 1,000, huh? because we cannot work with, we remember what we said, that 1,000 watt is equal to 1 kilowatt. So when you substitute that, power is equal to current multiplied by voltage, power then divided by voltage is current, 1,200 divided by 240, get 5 amperes. Now, this is the current. The question was not, is the current, not what is the current, the question was what is the resistance. Now substitute that question. We know the voltage is 240, the current is 5 amperes, but now we are looking for the resistance. So voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance, which is equal to voltage divided by current is equal to the resistance. Substitute that 240 divided by 5, get 48. 48 ohm. 48 ohm. Correct. Some of you got it correct, but some of you okay, get some jumbled answers. B, B, C, the correct answer was 48. Very quickly, because of time, you have about five minutes remaining. How much energy is used up if the current is switched on for two hours? We have this circuit diagram, 240 volts, five, amp five amperes, that is going through it. How much energy? So, timer begins now, you have two minutes. Question six, three room eight says A, 2.4 kilowatt hour. Number 31, three room two says A, 2.4 kilowatt hour. Three room six, number six, A, 2.4 kilowatt hour. Three room two, number 47, A. Three room eight, number four, A. Three room two, number 53, A. Three room six, number 35, A. Three room five, Cantira, five A. 
I found this. A, sorry. Number five, A. Okay. Three room seven, number 12, A. Oh, all your answers are A. Okay. Because of time, I'll, I'll reduce this one to one minute. How much energy is used up in the current is switched on for two hours? Solution again. Uh, power is current multiplied by voltage, 5 amperes multiplied by 250, you get 1,200 watts. You convert now the watts into kilowatts, which is equal to, we know 1,000 watts is 1 kilowatt, so 1,200 is equal to 1,200 divided by 1,000, you get 1.2 kilowatt. Then again, energy we know is power multiplied by time is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 2, yeah, so it's 2.4 kilowatts. Quickly, because we have about one minute. The last question. We might not finish all these questions. Question number seven. This is our last question because of time. A two kilowatt heater takes 45 minutes to heat up a room. Calculate A, the electricity that is used up, and B, the total cost. Total, if the total cost, if the total cost is four bucks per unit, the timer begins. Now, two minutes. So I need two answers. I need the energy and also, no, I need the power and also I need the, the cost. And two, two answers. Question seven, the last question. Uh, three, room two, number nine says eight. Six kilowatt, 10 bars. Um, 3 room 8 number 10, you say D. D is 1.5 kilowatts hour, 6 bars. Uh, 3 room 8 number 8, you say D, 1.5 kilowatts. That was so quick. All well, the answers are D, D, D. Yeah? 3 room 8 number 9, D, 1.5 kilowatts hour, 6 bars. 3 room 2 number 47, D, 1.5 kilowatts, 6 bars. And the last but not the least, um, three room eight number 23, A, 1.5 kilowatts, six bars. Now, because of time, because of time, let's uh, quickly summarize. A two kilowatt heater takes 45 minutes to heat up a room. Calculate the electricity that is used up. So the electricity and the energy used, which is the electricity used up, is equal to power multiplied by time which is two kilowatt multiplied by 0 0.5 hours. Why 0 0.5? Because 45 minutes is equal to three quarter of an hour. So you convert that into our 0 0.75. So when you multiply that, you get 1.5 kilowatt hour. So the cost of electricity is four baht per unit. Four baht multiplied by 1.5 is equal to six baht. Six baht. Now we, we were not able to finish um, these questions. We still have like three more questions, but uh, don't you mind about it. Maybe next time we'll have enough time to go through it. So I hope you will be able to, uh, I hope you've been having a nice time and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.